Well, hello, my friends. Hello, hello, hello. Well, I had, uh, I had initially wanted to do this uh, live, but uh, due to uh, extreme circumstances, we got a net full of fish. Me and my me and my son do, and um, I'm going to start filleting these fish and get ready for a fish fry tonight. Uh, I'm still going to pray at six o'clock. I'm going to take my ten minutes to pray at six o'clock. Um, but life happened, guys. I'm not going to. I'm not going to stop doing this with my son. We had a. We've we've had a wonderful day. So what I'm going to do is going to. I'm going to read the pre-prayer uh, scriptures that been on my heart. So listen. Um, uh, to stand strong in the faith, uh, and to never give give in, to not allow fear and worry to take hold of our hearts. That is the patience in the faith of the, of the saints, which uh, keep the commandments of the Father, and will be there till the end. Uh, this patience and faith uh, uh, faith is, is something most men and women will never come to grips with, never come to understand. So today we're going to read James uh, chapter 5, starting with verse 7. We're going to read these together. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Father. Behold the husbandman, which means farmer in this instant, instance, waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it, until he receive the early and latter rain. Be you also patient and established. That means within. Without the E, just a, a regular established means within your heart. For the coming of the Father, the Yahuwah, draweth nigh. Grudge not uh, one against another, brethren, lest you be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Take, my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Father, Yahuwah, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job. And have seen the end of, of the Father, that the Yahuwah is very pitiful and of tender mercy, but above all things. My brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yea be yea and your nay be nay, lest you fall into condemnation. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any, among, uh, is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Father. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up, and he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. And here's the most important fault, one of the most important scriptures in the whole Bible. Confess your faults one to another, and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Guys, it, it is... It is easy to fall in, in diverse uh, temptations and allow the ways of the world to get us worried, sick, and stress and anxiety. Uh, what they do is they destroy our bodies from with, from within. So what, whatever man, whatever we hold within, the stress within will manifest itself without uh, with sickness, sickness of mind, health, and body, and it's called disease. So guys, what I do, this old country boy here, you know. Um, I do things that just take me out of this world, and uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure doing these things. Um, I enjoy them, and uh, guys, we have to stay focused with 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 righteousness um, and peace, love, and a sound mind. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to be able to do a live stream tonight with y'all, but know that my heart and mind is always with y'all. My heart and mind is always with how to how to rectify uh, the, uh, the issues with this world. I hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, brother Nick, Nick's, uh, I'm not going to say his last name, uh, Brother Nick's, the MMA fighter versus Victorian police. Hey guys, uh, what knowledge is power. A lot of y'all are finally messaging me, asking me uh, questions about how do we know this. Well, here's the problem, folks. Can't nobody force this knowledge on you. It is something you want to go get, and you have to go you have to go take it. You have to go take it for yourself. Uh, Brandon can't force anything on anybody, but I promise you guys, once you come to this knowledge of the truth of who and what you are versus who and what you've been told you are, uh, the strength and the power of our subconscious minds and our conscious minds is what they're really afraid of. A man just and moral in all his ways can never be evil and he can never, he can never do wrong. He'll always be a good, just, morally upright man and he will follow the rules of justice. What they fear is a good moral society. That is what they fear because we cannot be controlled. My friends, uh, just know that I love y'all and I, I appreciate all the support. 
and even those I disagree with from time to time. Uh, you know, just because we have a slight disagreement in theology or eschatology doesn't mean we're enemies. Uh, uh, it doesn't mean we have to hate one another. Although many people are polarized to the point where we, you have to hate each other. All right, folks, y'all have a wonderful day. I'm going to get the filet and get nasty, get some blood and guts all over me. Uh, this sweet little child of mine wants some uh, fr fresh, fresh fried catfish this afternoon. That's what we're going to have. All right, guys, I love y'all. I'll load this up. Uh, everybody from 6 o'clock to 6, 10, 6, 15, or however long you can hold that, that, uh, that thought. Uh, let's do it, my friends. Bye.